Hello and welcome to Technical Drawing Solution. Today I'm going to take you through construction of an ellipse using concentric circle method. Uh, the question reads, construct an ellipse given the major and the minor axis as 120 and 80 millimeters respectively. Use the concentric circle method. So the first thing to do here is for us to draw the concentric circles. Uh, the larger circle here is 120 millimeters and the smaller one here is 80 millimeters radius. Then divide the circle into four equal parts. Then with your pair of compass, taking this radius measurement, stand at this point and you'll be able to strike this and strike that. Stand here and you'll be able to strike this and strike that. Stand here with the same radius, you'll be able to strike this and strike that. Stand here and you'll be able to strike this and strike that. If you count all these points, there will be 12. So that's one way of uh, dividing a circle into 12 equal parts. We shall look uh, at another method uh, in another clip. So once you have divided, then you can connect uh, lines through the center to those uh, points. And uh, we shall take this law here, external circle is equals to vertical, internal circle is equals to horizontal. This law will help us in drawing uh, or locating the points which we are looking for. So external circle, from the external circle, draw a vertical line. Yes, and from the internal circle, a horizontal line. And since this is the intersect, intersection point, then the, the blue line will not be drawn. And this will be our first point. So once we have that uh, point, we can number all those points up to 12. Still remembering that external circle vertical, which we have already drawn, and the internal circle horizontal, and the horizontal just stays there. So let's go to the second one here and see. So you can see the, the red line, external circle, draw a vertical line. You can use the T-square and Z-square 90 degrees to draw that. And you can use the T-square to draw the horizontal line. So uh, this law is what we are following. So vertical red, horizontal blue. So we can go on like that. Vertical red, horizontal blue. Vertical red, horizontal blue. And you can see that horizontal is coming from the inner circle and uh, the red is coming from the uh, outer circle. Uh, of course, uh, for, for the purpose of um, answering the question in an exam, you would have to use a pencil, a construction, um, to, to draw the, the construction lines. Yeah? So you would, you would have to use um, a 2H, a 2H or a 3H 
to draw the construction line. So you will not need to use the red and the blue. So we shall continue like that. And uh, when we reach this lower part, the vertical lines will now be drawn upwards as opposed to when we were in the first half where we had to draw the vertical lines downwards. So draw the vertical line emanating from the, from the uh, outer circle and then the blue line from the inner circle. And once we are through with those points, then we can join with a smooth curve. We can join with a smooth curve, sketch it, sketch it and make your hand uh, very flexible so that you are able to uh, sketch and let all, uh, I mean, the, the, the curve be rounded at all parts, yeah? so that we don't have any sharp, sharp corners. Yeah? We have a smooth round curve, an oval shape which is egg-like. And once you've gotten this correctly, then you can finish it with a finished line. Thank you for watching and let's meet uh, in another video.